So it's gonna get loud here for a second. We've got uh, one, two, three, four holes in here already. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these four more. And I thought I'd let you kind of see how that goes. Uh, kind of a makeshift stand here a bit. I don't have a drill press. This is all I have, so it makes it kind of difficult. Yeah, here we go. Check that first. There we go. Looks pretty good. So I got most of these holes cut out, and then uh, now I'm doing four holes in each corner of the uh, where the PIDs and the uh, temp controllers are going to go. PIDs and the, the timer. I don't have a uh, drill press here, so it's kind of tricky. show you what's going on here. Okay, so we'll just get another angle on it. Up here you can kind of see the lines where I've uh, marked and drilled into today. And you can, sign the, you can see the uh, squares where I need to cut. Alright, so now I'll just take a, a jigsaw. Let me see if I can show this to you. Take a jigsaw blade steel blade going here and cut and cut over to here and then from here down and basically just cut out these centers here so then I'll have a center for my PIDs and okay so here it is with all the uh, the buttons on um, obviously no labels at this point uh, I got the PIDs in there I am missing that one PID. I had to make a decision about whether or not I was going to have the, a PID for the actual mash ton. Um, yeah, it is part of the design. And Anyways, I uh, haven't pushed the uh, PIDs all the way in yet. You see they got these sort of spring latches up here at the top that will kind of clip them in when they go in. And then uh, since so the timer is just sort of hanging there, they're all just sort of hanging there in the back. Got this. Um, it's actually a quite nice collar that will go all the way up, and then uh, push against the back. It sort of clips in uh, on these little clips up here. And you push against it, so that'd be quite nice and easy. But uh, yeah, that's that's what it looks like from the back without all the cables. So again, I'll take all the buttons off here, it's just sort of show it at this point and then uh, get it ready for painting. Alright, well that's it. Um, not a lot going on this week. I'm expecting a package to arrive in a couple days. Uh, in there I'll have my stainless steel uh, boxes that I'll use to connect my elements and then put into the, uh, the kettle and the HLT. Um, yeah, so then I'll have to drill some holes into the kettles and the, the HLT and and get that all fixed up, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, not much else going on besides that. Uh, big shout out to that. Um, 
not much else going on besides that. Uh, big shout out to Everdy Studios. Um, him and I are building basically a very, very similar control panel, all based off the electric brewery. And uh, so cool to be able to collaborate and communicate and send messages back and forth and see how each other are doing and you know, kind of get like a status report. And uh, yeah, if there's anything I can do for you, uh, by all means, uh, just ask and you know, we'll see. Uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Just an ordinary guy I'd like to write a song without picking up a pen The words just spilling out for you